Hello there. Before touching this new weapon from the PT update, I kinda want to know what actually works with this dude. So today I will be testing all offensive legendary mods and as well weapon mods I unlocked so far. This dude consumes action points in watts and out of watts. So let's see if magically 25% less watts action point cost works here. Of course, probably it sounds stupid, but I know so many stupid things about this game that should work differently, so I want to give it a try anyways. If it actually consumes less AP, the numbers should be higher, but they are lower here. Okay, conclusion. It doesn't work as I wish it could work. Let's get down to the serious business. Speaking of offensive legendary mods, I'm talking about faster swing speed, for example. Here I don't have it, but here, yes. Does it affect DPS? Let's find out. And I will test everything else, oh, save for plus one strength. No slugger per cards, but I have adrenaline and uh, yeah, I will remove it a little bit later. First, let's try faster swing speed. I have two aristocrats with and without this super OP buff. The weapon mod will be always the same for all legendary mods I will be testing here. I've decided to go with turbo and you will understand why. With faster swing speed I kill him in 2 seconds. Without faster swing speed I kill him in 2 seconds. Therefore faster swing speed doesn't improve DPS whatsoever. But critical meter feels 15% faster works here. As you see one white rectangle is a little bit bigger than another one. 15% bigger. Oh, it looks even bigger than 15%, but it doesn't matter, this legendary mod works. Now let's see if AP cost in watts is actually different, with and without the legendary mod. Watts create demo damage legendary mod is kinda useless here, maybe I need to try it on bosses, I don't know. If my AP bar consumes less action points, that means different timing for situations with and without this legendary mod, right? And indeed, it takes longer, but not that much. So on my testing, less AP cost is not working here. Well, I wouldn't use this weapon in VATS, would you? Tell me in the comment section. Replenish action points with each kill works here, and you can actually see it. It roughly restores 10% of your action point bar, and uh, since this weapon consumes action points out of VATS, this actually is quite good. Power attacks here are useless. They work, but I wish they wouldn't even exist as a legendary mod for this weapon. But let me quickly demonstrate you. You see 20 damage? Wow. Okay, let's swap it for this guy. And uh, wait. No. 25. Yeah. Now go power attack them. Reflect melee damage upon blocking is another stupid thing you can come across. But guess what? It's working just perfectly. Now go block their attacks and reflect some damage. And then you will die from diseases. The last offensive legendary mod is doing more damage while standing still. And yeah, it works. I just did 10, 11 damage, 11 because of 10 deriser, and now 11, 13. What about turbo mod that lowers damage but increases swing speed? Well, if I'm really missing something, please tell me in the comment section. But what the fuck players had been testing on PTS? The turbo mod is just a piece of trash, and if you don't believe me, check this, no mods. The same exact roll, but no mods. And suddenly the damage is better, so for now don't buy this turbo mod, it sucks. Okay, and with electro mod it's super OP. Look at this. I still didn't unlock other mods for this weapon, but I'm on it. These daily ops-ish expeditions are kinda annoying. Ooh, kiss do kiss. Talk to me via comment section, maybe I will check defensive legendary mods as well. But for now I want to say a big thank you for watching and I will see you later. 
Bye, 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 bye.